Hi guys, it's Monday again. Yuck. Blah. And you know I'm going to tell you, it's still raining. And uh, I actually got a lot done today. I got a lot of sleep in. I did not sleep a wink last night. And um, so I finally, I guess I fell asleep maybe around 4, 4.30. And I only slept for a couple hours. I never woke up again. Then... I was having kooky, kooky dreams again, and uh, but no, I fell back asleep again, and then surprise, surprise, <laughs> I didn't wake up until almost three o'clock this afternoon, and so I'm hoping that tonight I'll be able to sleep, maybe somewhat normally. I'm hoping. Um. Anyway, but I got up and I looked over at the big pile of laundry in what I call my laundry cart. It's a little cart with four wheels. It's vinyl and it works really really well for laundry and so I looked at that and I thought yeah I should probably do it so I did and um, I finished up maybe about an hour and a half ago and um, I did like four loads of laundry that was ridiculous and then one load this always ticks me off it happens just about every single time I go downstairs to do my laundry you know it's a buck a load and it's 45 minutes for the washer and it's 45 minutes for the dryer. Well, don't you know, one of the dryers wasn't getting my clothes dry. So I had to go spend another dollar on getting one last load done. So, yeah, whatever. I know, how exciting. But then I also, um, before it started to rain again, because we had a um, text message, but you guys didn't hear it because it's in the other room. Um, but I thought, oh, I've got tons of garbage around the house. I need to collect up and get that out. And I had things in the refrigerator I needed to get rid of. And I thought, well, in between the rainfall, how about how about I do this? And um, so I did. It took me two trips, but I got all my garbage out and uh, cleaned out my fridge, got my dishes done. So all in all, for me, that was a really productive day. Usually I need help. Um, with all that stuff, and um, nope, everything's good. The only thing that's really making me mad, I'm not even going to show you guys, is that, you know, I got these sweatshirts maybe about two months ago um, from Walmart, and, you know, they're Hanes, they were like five bucks for the pants and then five bucks for the top, pretty good deal, and I love these sweats, and, um, but there's this shirt, which I've only worn a few times, um, has got a stain on it and I realized that I did spill something on it and before I put it in the laundry basket I sprayed it with you know I used some shout on it and I put that or spray and wash one of the two and I put it in my laundry and I haven't done it for a while so now I've got the cleanest stain of them all on my shirt it's not the stain that was there it's the stain from leaving the shout in too long giddy I won't be wearing this out anywhere um, but no, so you guys can probably even hear my dishwasher running because this microphone picks up everything. But um, other than that, uh, there goes my phone. I know it's him. He's fighting with me right now, so I don't want to answer it, but I will after I'm done. So, but it'll be a short one because I don't have too much else to say. Um, other than, yeah, I was really productive and, uh, I didn't, oh, no, I do have something to tell you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen the headlines about Nancy Kerrigan's brother is now, you know, his, the police are probing him about his father Daniel's death. Well, the priest that I had at my church growing up, and he was like an extended part of the family. Um, my mom was so involved in our church and um, and therefore was involved with you know, the priest of our church. Um, no, not in that way. God, you people. <laughs> anyway, but she used to go over and she would um, fix them breakfast. And I, I spent lots and lots of time in the rectory there and at another Catholic church not too far away from where we had grown up. And um, anyway, so the thing that's really weird about it is that my priest there, whose name was Father Kerrigan, you're getting where I'm going, right? He was Nancy Kerrigan's uncle, Joseph, and 
I still wonder to this day if she called him Father Kerrigan or if she called him Uncle Joe. Hmm. That's one I'll be wondering about. But anyway, um, Father Kerrigan passed away um, quite a while ago. and um, But his younger brother was certainly younger, many years younger than he was. And um, so now that like, there's this scandal about her brother, Nancy Kerrigan's brother, um, you know, being looked at as a suspect and to foul play with um, her dad's death. And hasn't this girl been through enough between Tanya Harding and the Olympics and, you know, this scandal and that scandal? I, good grief. But I'll tell you one thing before I get off this subject and get off this video is that um, it freaks me out every time I see a picture of her because she looks so much like Father Kerrigan. It's freaky. And we were, we were all very, very tight with Father Kerrigan. So it's just the whole thing's kind of sad, but it's eerie at the same time. So creepy story number two this week. Hmm? Anyway, um, computer seems to be recovering pretty well. I was up playing Farmville and Zoo World on Facebook for the better part of last evening <laughs> and a little bit today. So, um, and if my daughter sees this, I planted more trees in Zooville. Shake the trees. They will give you money. Okay? And I'll keep gifting you. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm going to run because I'm getting kind of hungry and, um, I gotta go figure out what's on TV tonight and play more Farmville and more Zoo World and probably, yeah, probably more Top Chef. <sighs> anyway, you guys take care and I will see you later. Bye. Okay, bye for real. I gotta stop looking at the stop recording button when I do that. So, see ya!